Hi students, uh, this is a very important interesting area in the neuroanatomy. So many students ask me how the Leminski are formed. So Leminski are nothing but all the tracts are going right. So whenever the tracts they decussate or cross over, they will not be called as tracts hereafter. They will be called by a new name called Leminski, that's all. So we have four Leminski that is called this one is called medial Leminski, lateral Leminski and the spinal Leminski and trigeminal Leminski. So you can now tell yourself what are this decussation of which fibers. Spinal, so what is the tract starting from the name spinal, Sp spinothalamic tract. So the spinothalamic tract after decussation it is called a spinal lemonisci, very simple. And then medial lemonisci is by the fibers of the proprioception. Proprioceptive fibers actually you should know one thing that uh, spinal cord is here, medulla, pons and midbrain. This is the system. So in the first spinal cord few fibers will be decussated. Main fibers decussating in the spinal cord is spinothalamic tract. Okay, your um, proprioceptive fibers will not be decussated. They will be going up in the medulla and in the medulla they decussate. <coughs> Which fibers? The proprioceptive fibers. Proprio Exception. All the students should understand one thing, spinothalamic tract carries pain and temperature uh, uh, fibers okay, and pressure and light touch. Okay, these fibers are taken by spinothalamic tract. They immediately decussate at the spinal cord level. Very simple. So immediately after that in the medulla if you call the spinothalamic tract you should call it a spinal lemonisci. But proprioceptive fibers when it crosses the spinal cord it will not be decussated. After it reaches the medulla only it decussates and it forms the internal arcuate fibers. These fibers they form the lemonisci called medial lemonisci. Finished. And then the next thing is uh, in the pons, you have the lower pons and the upper pons. In the pons, very importantly, we should know one thing. There, you have the pons, what are the cranial nerve nucleus are there? 5, 6, 7 and 8. In the medulla, you have 9, 10, 11 and 12. These are the cranial nerve nucleus arranged here. In the midbrain, you have 3 and 4. Okay, in the pons, you have 5, 6, 7, 8 cranial nerve nucleus. The beauty is, the 8th nerve nucleus has two components vestibular component and the cochlear component. The cochlear nuclear fibers, both the sides you have the cochlear nucleus. This new fibers from the cochlear nucleus, they decussate and ascend up as which lemonisci? Lateral lemonisci. That's all simple. So cochlear nuclear fibers, they decussate and ascend up as lateral lemonisci. So the rest one is the Trigeminal lemonisci. Trigeminal lemonisci is also the upper pons level. This is lower pons. Upper pons level, the trigeminal nucleus they decussate. Trigeminal nucleus. Trigeminal nucleus they decussate and forms trigeminal lemonisci. That's all. This is how the four lemonisci are being formed. So the trigem the beauty of trigeminal lemonisci is it is formed by uh, trigeminal nucleus has too many components. Spinal nucleus of trigeminal and motor nucleus of trigeminal, sensory nucleus of trigeminal and mesencephalic nucleus of trigeminal. All these together they decussate and forms which lemonisci? Trigeminal lemonisci. That's all about the four lemonisci.